solving problems relating to area of four walls of a room. Now, there is, this is pretty interesting, you know. Now, in a room, basically what can happen is there are four walls, right? We all know this. One, two, this is on the third side. And let's say this is the fourth side. So there are, if you just split it wide open, there are four walls in a room, right? Now, if you were to compute the area of four walls, right? Without getting into derivation, we know that this is equal to two times the length, sorry, is two times the length plus breadth multiplied by the height, right? But what happens is life is not so simple. Whenever you get mathematical question, you come across situation where some windows have been put into some of these walls. Or there could be a door which is kind of kept in into these walls. And then you are told that the area excluding these windows, obviously, I mean, even if I don't tell you that it has to be excluded, it follows from logical conclusion that whenever the walls will be painted, we are going to paint the area other than the area occupied by these good looking windows or the doors for that matter, right? We will not be painting them with the same color maybe as we are painting the rest of the walls, right? Now, given this background, you know, you might get question that, okay, there is a house or there are these four walls which are to be painted, right? And what happens is you are also given the cost per meter square, okay? Which could be anything. Now, whenever you are solving any kind of questions like this, what you need to keep into mind is that the painted area is always going to be equal to the area of these four walls right minus the area of window or door as the case may be right and why is it so because we don't paint these areas they have a different paint or something you know they may be painted they may not be painted but the area to be painted is excluding the area of these two things so let's say for example you are told that you know the length is equal to 8 meters, the breadth is equal to 10 meters, and the height is equal to 3 meters. In a room, okay? In a room, the length is this much, the breadth is this much, the height is this much. Okay? And then you are told that there are two windows, which are, let's say, of square shaped, and one door, which is of a rectangle shape, okay? The side of this square is, let's say, not six. Six will be too much of a two meters. And this is, let's say, three meters from length and breadth, two meters, right? Now, if you are to ask to find out the painted area, what will that be? It's obviously going to be area of the four walls, which is going to be two times the length plus breadth. Length is eight meters breadth is 10 meters into height 3 meters minus the area of the windows right so there are two windows so you'll calculate two times square of it's a square shaped so what will be the area of the window obviously side square how long is the side 2 meters so 2 square minus the area of the rectangle Area of the rectangle we all know is length into breadth, so 3 meters into 2 meters. And because there is only one door which is of rectangle shape, so we don't multiply it by anything else. 8 plus 10 gives you 18, 18 times 2 gives you 36, 36 into 3 gives you 108 minus, let's pick up this one, 2 square gives you 4, 4 times 2 gives you 8 minus, the third one, 3 times 2 gives you 6. So you get 94 meter 
per square as the area of the painted area right now if you know the cost let's say it is 10 rupees per meter square okay so you can just 10 into 94 gives you 940 right so it becomes pretty easy for you to calculate these costs as I said the thing to be kept in mind is that if you are painting this particular area obviously whatever is the size of the window or the rectangle giller door are to be excluded you also need to watch out these windows need not necessarily be of a square shape if these are rectangular shape you calculate the area accordingly although no one puts in the doors of a square shape but if they say what can we do if this is square shape you have to calculate the area accordingly right with these kind of concepts now you are ready to take up questions relating to area of four walls of a room